What's the right automatic transmission fluid to use in your Aston Martin DB9? In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to be talking about the automatic transmission fluid uh, used in uh, the Aston Martin DB9 and uh, other Gaiden era models that have the six-speed Touchtronic 2 automatic transmission. Uh, first place I thought I would look is in the owner's manual. And if you flip to the fluids and specifications page, it says uh, automatic transmission fluid use Shell ATFM 1375.4. So that's a spec for a fluid. For followers of this YouTube channel and my blog, you'll also know that I've done an extensive review of how to change the fluid uh, in an Aston Martin DB9. And I talk about it there, but I'm just gonna summarize it here. So the next thing I wanted to do is check in from Mike from Bamford Rose in the UK. Bamford Rose is an independent Aston Martin specialist. They work primarily on Gaiden era cars like this. And uh, Mike is a, uh, a previous performance engineer for Aston. So let's see what he has to say on the topic. Hi, Mike. Thanks for joining me. I was just thinking about the um, automatic transmission fluid that I use in my 2005 DB9. It was fitted with the ZF six-speed transmission. And I was wondering what you recommend for use with your customers at Bamford Rose. Yeah, hi there, Steve. We use the ZF fluid straight from the manufacturer of the gearbox. Yeah, that very same bottle. It, uh, that label looks the same this side of the pond as yours. So, uh, yeah, I, I did an article series recently on changing the transmission fluid in uh, um, my DB9. Um, and I realized that there are lots of different fluids out there that would, could claim to be compatible. Um, do you have any sort of brand recommendation? I mean, I, I chose this one because it's made by the company that made the transmission, but I. I've seen, you know, that there is the Aston Martin supplied brand, or there is even a fluid offered by Ford that they, uh, that had the same transmission in it. Um, you know, is there a particular reason why we wouldn't use one of those alternatives or we'd stick to this one? With the auto trans, I'm not aware of anything special or trick that Aston blended to do anything different than the ZF oil. And, and, you know, it's ZF's gearbox, they manufacture it, they make it for lots of other prominent automakers that um, specify ZF's auto trans oil. So I'm not exactly sure of the reasons why Aston have their own. Obviously, it's much more expensive in the bottles that they sell it from the franchise dealer. But in, in this instance, yeah, I stick with ZF's oil. They made it for their gearbox. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I know these sorts of things happen. Perhaps the Ford blend is used because the SUV is towing much more weight down the freeway. You know, maybe there's a, a boat on the back of your Ford Expedition and th they've blended the oil to cope with that, that torque, that heat at lower speed. Whereas um, the ZF oil is, is going to be blended for what that gearbox was used in, which was premium sports cars. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah. Most fluids I'm, I'm not all that particular about, but uh, this one, it just seems like the right decision is to stick with the ZF Lifeguard 6. And uh, uh, it's the right balance of price. It's not too expensive. It's not like cheap, cheap garbage either. And it's made by the company that made the trans. So I don't see any reason why not to just use this one since it's a readily available, you know, all over the world as well, because it's such a popular transmission. It's in so many different cars. I wanted to ask you about your opinion on the flush frequency. Um, if you have one, you know, I, I've sort of been doing some research. Uh, you know, Aston said the ZF six speed was filled for life. Um, if you read some of the information from the, uh, ZF company, they say it's, you know, more like eight years max. Um, what's sort of your gut feel? How do you approach it? Yeah, that, that spec is out there. And, and that gearbox in the Aston is no different than the gearbox in another application that that ZF box is in. So, 
yeah, I'd, I'd call it a day at year eight. And depending on how the customer was driving the car, you know, when they come in for service, I always ask them, you know, how's it feeling on shifts and changes? You notice any degradation in comfort or performance? And some think at 60 to 80,000 miles, some think at year six to year eight, then that, that's the flush and fill frequency that I'll be looking at. So obviously this transmission was fitted to the DB9, uh, but what other Gaiden era models, uh, Mike, was the ZF6 speed uh, included in? Yeah, the DB9 was evolved to Rapide. So it was six speed Rapide, uh, then DBS and the 450 DB9 turned to 470, so it's in that car as well, which then turned into Virage, it's in that car as well. And briefly, it was in Vanquish, so the six-speed Vanquish was a ZF gearbox uh, before that evolved to the eight-speed. Any other tips, Mike? Uh, well, no, not really. I, I know from your uh, selection of videos that you've covered this um, uh, the two things that I can think of one would be uh, a careful look at the trans cooler pipe work system the cooler is at the front underneath that lower grill and where the rubber pipes wages onto the metal then there can be some leaking there so just check the pipes that's now, how my if, car earned its nickname princess piddles when I bought my car it was weeping at that uh, at that point uh, location and it was weeping noticeably it wasn't just like wet it was like um, drooling and I was losing uh, a notable amount of fluid so um, it's worth checking that as part of your service if you haven't had that done already yeah and if you have to change those pipes if they've never been off the cooler then you can sometimes strip the thread off the cooler so you end up needing a new cooler and new pipe work and the other tip would be if the pipes and cooler are okay whether at home you just drained out the gearbox leaving the small quantity maybe up to two liters of oil in the cooler and thermostat system and you just drained out the gearbox or whether you did everything the care point there is if you do everything you drain it out the cooler and the thermostat then you're probably going to need a ramp uh, to run the car quite prolonged to get the system up to temperature so you can bleed it properly. So if you're at home, you'd probably just be satisfied of draining out the oil in the gearbox and, and maybe shorten the interval that you next change it at. Or if you've got access to a ramp and a workshop, then you can drain the whole lot. All right, well, thanks again for all your uh, great advice, Mike. Appreciate it. Uh, no problem, Steve. So this one, the recommendation is pretty clear. You could buy a lot of uh, different fluids that meet the shell standard. Go buy ZF Lifeguard 6 fluid. You don't need to go to Aston Martin. You don't need to buy other brands. Just go out and get the absolute best thing for your car, which is the ZF Lifeguard 6 fluid. Uh, you're gonna need about 10 liters of this to do a full transmission fluid flush. And uh, as I mentioned in my other video series, you do that about once every eight years. So hopefully you find that information useful. Down here you'll find the companion blog article where you can find links and where to purchase the fluid. Um, up here you'll certainly find a link to the, um, uh, the series on changing the transmission fluid. Down here you can find a link to subscribe if you like to get uh, videos like this. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.